Hello everyone. Thanks to the OCMA for organizing this unique symposium. Thanks to the OCMA for offering this opportunity to share my opinion on adapting learning and teaching to this new reality. It was not a long time ago when we had a wonderful conference. In the foreign resort in May of last year, I'm so glad that I captured some beautiful moments during the conference. That was a great environment for collaborating and exchanging our ideas and thoughts. We all know how much we miss that opportunity when we could gather in a big room. And communicate each other. When the pandemic started from March this year, it seemed that our world suddenly changed. A lot of concerns and anxieties showed up. Many people worried about the situation of teaching and learning online. It was a unique opportunity for us to think about the situation seriously. When I try to compare the teaching situation between online and in the real physical classroom, many factors and issues became clear for me. Many of the challenges can be worked out with our technology. Some feelings may not be necessary for teaching and learning. We only need to adapt ourselves mentally and physically. To the new learning environment, let's look at it. the fact. What does the teaching do? Traditionally, teaching activities are about explaining knowledge and answering related questions. The knowledge can be concepts, theories, regulations, logic, policies, relationships. And so on. It is all about explaining what, how, and why. What does learning do? Learning activities are about hearing something unknown, understanding new knowledge, and building up skills and applying the knowledge learned. It is all about understanding and practicing what, how, and why. All the knowledge was gained little by little through the exploration by human beings. Over thousand years, we continue developing more and more knowledge. Many courses are not related to consuming real material and physical experiments in the lab. The knowledge in these courses is purely carried by language, in writings, and can be easily transferred by communication. For these courses, there's no difference between online. An in-class environment for performing, teaching, and learning. In higher education, mathematics, statistics, economics, accounting, and even many computer application courses are all in this category. Now let's look at more detail comparing. Learning online and learning face to face in real physical classroom. In the online environment, everyone is the center with no barrier. We are all center of our own screen. In the physical classroom, we may have all kinds of barriers. The classroom could be big, could be very wide, could be very deep. 
We may have some kind of pose, supporting pose in classroom sometimes. So they are the barrier for learning experience. Obviously, there's no traveling involved in. Everybody can access internet, access the class in a convenient way. However, there's always all kinds of issues. Can stop students coming to the class or delay the students attending to the real classroom. We all know there's no border for online classroom. Everyone can access internet, can access the classroom in any part of the world. Unfortunately, for the real physical classroom, only local students can access. For communication part, kind of, we can consider always one-on-one -on -one situation as possible for online, but that situation not really true in the real classroom, especially when we have a lot of students. The learning experience for communication part between teacher and the students directly affected by where the students sitting in the classroom. We all know online learning situation. We do not consume material except that we consume electricity. But for real physical classroom. We carry the paper, we carry the pen, marker, chalk. So this either environmental friendly or not environmental friendly. It's very clear. Learning resources are centered for the online environment. Everybody share the resources online anytime. It never runs short. However, when we bring all the handouts of classroom and we bring the papers to the classroom, we may have all kinds of problems for students to share the learning resources. In an online classroom, everybody faces two-dimension screen, but the two-dimension screen can link to multiple-dimension world. By simply click the link we designed on the screen, we can reach out many, many the other learning resources. And this kind of situation cannot be said in a real classroom. Even we live in the 3D world, but we actually handling blackboard or whiteboard, we are only able to right on the two-dimension board. So from this comparison, we can clearly see the difference and that help us understand the benefits we may get from online learning. We used to say about the student-centered learning environment and it actually come true in the online environment. And actually it is every individual centered friendly online learning environment how do we take advantage of this multiple dimension digital world here i would like to share the way i have been doing for years how i manage my course on blackboard we use the platform blackboard all my courses built up on blackboard when students log into my course, default setting course information, general information all listed here. You can see course policy, course outline, important days about test and exam, and the register, the third party, Pearson Stat Lab, and the textbook information, and manage learning activity. So when they click manage learning activity, come here, just uh, 
brief list what they need to do over the semester. So every title is clickable and you can directly get in where you need. Reading related learning material on Blackboard and when they click here, they can reach the page list information they need to read. Watch the lecture, lecture videos on YouTube and here's the link directly get to the YouTube and do homework test exam on Pearson Style Lab and the class on Blackboard and the office hour on Blackboard they all link to the Blackboard collaborate interface back to the default setting on Blackboard of the course and see I also have the link lecture video uh, directly listed on the main menu list so when they click this and you can get lecture video and right put on the top so when they click they get the list so here's the roadmap for statistics all the lecture videos on YouTube about statistics and also I have the uh, related videos for uh, mathematics so the business math for 1008 and all the videos on YouTube as well when they click any of them and they will get the specific uh, lecture video on YouTube and here it shows my uh, YouTube channel which is called Young Academy so you can see I have many videos already built up here so students can access them anytime they want back to the default setting of the blackboard and I do give them weekly journal which is the summary here are some examples of my weekly journal it is a weekly briefing to show what should be learned during the week some key points and concepts may be mentioned to get attention it gives students an opportunity to have a weekly quick reflection it is also a part of the regular communication to hold students learning on the right direction I tend to combine my photography with the briefing together to present students a beautiful artistic material education is not training the brains with knowledge and skills training the hearts with kindness and understanding could be more important back to old days I used to do it in letter size presentation now I have the journals in 1080p HD format it also showed how we can improve our communication to adapt to the trend of technology social corner kind of give students a little touch relate to a little bit about my hobby my personal life introduction about myself uh, teaching career and research there and here they also can get the link so this is my flick R about my photo work so all we need is to adapt ourselves to this digital world physically and mentally unlimited possibility will be explored a splendid world will be presented that is my goal so we all have many different ways connect ourselves to our students and we can put them together and use this platform the technology has already provided all the possible situations so we can use the technology to make it happen so basic rules organize the course learning resource on a major platform nicely just like uh, what I just show on blackboard so students can have easy access can search the learning resources conveniently link multimedia learning resources to this platform on blackboard I normally link the LinkedIn learning 
and、uh, Khan Academy. These two popular public education resources, and the student can access there. Tons of the learning material can be accessed from those two resources. Present the lectures with new technology. Sometimes we hear people saying about the limitation of the screen. Actually, we are able to type in anything we can in a very convenient way on the screen. The technology has already made this part very convenient, and we also can draw the picture on the screen with touch screen. We can just directly draw anything, write anything on the screen by our finger directly. So everything is very convenient. There's no barrier at all. So whatever we can do on blackboard, on whiteboard, in the real physical classroom, we can do exactly the same thing on the screen in the digital world. Maintain communication in a new style. If we use Blackboard Collaborate as a platform, which is our lecture platform, and we also have lots of the others, such as Zoom or Team, and we can com communicate with students. If the students need the individual one-on-one -on -one talk, so it's very convenient to schedule the meeting anytime on the other platform and have face-to-face -face talk. So there's no barrier at all. The communication way actually is much better than in the physical class. If the student want to have、uh, some visit, so try to schedule an office hour, and then we have to manage to travel to the office for both teacher and the students and for both available time. So think about that. So it's totally different now. When we schedule a meeting office hour online, it is just so convenient and easy to access for both sides. We knew that the digital world is coming. We knew this fact years ago. With the pandemic situation, it just turns into reality suddenly and very quickly. Fortunately, technology has prepared us very well to build this beautiful virtual world. I just recently got this、uh, expression. I think it is very inspiring. I would like to share this note with everyone. Don't accept、uh, excuses. Celebrate excellence. We can break free from the constraints. Let's cheers to embrace a new lifestyle. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining this session.